Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Cantata of the Week. My name is Jane Rogers and I was one of the principal viola players in the Bar Cantata pilgrimage which took place in the year 2000. I'm delighted to introduce to you Cantata BWV 45, otherwise known as Esses Dear Gesagt Mensch, as it is a personal favourite of mine for many reasons. Firstly, from a musical perspective, it is a masterpiece. From the monumental first chorus with its vast architecture, wonderful counterpoint, and magnificent vocal and instrumental writing, down to its delicate and intimate scoring in the aria for flute and alto voice. Secondly, I find the text to be so often relevant, especially in times of doubt and questioning life in general. We often search for answers to life's difficulties and the optimism and strength in this cantata is incredibly reassuring. The message here in the text of this work seems to me to be very clear. Do what God has asked as laid out in the Holy Scriptures. Do it soon and from the heart and all will be well. And don't be a hypocrite. In our performance of this cantata, what I particularly love is the way in which we play the opening chorus. Bach chose to write it in E major, which is a very bright and optimistic key. In fact, it has previously been described as the most powerful key of all. John Elliott encourages us to bring a wonderful rhythmic swing to this, which I remember being swept along by during the performance in Rendsburg all those years ago. Of course, being a violist, I must mention here that the viola part in this chorus is particularly wonderful and gratifying to play. Bach seems to have taken particular care over how he wrote this viola part with its imitation of the motifs in the first violins and its often shocking and surprising flat and seventh chords or blue notes to use a jazz term which can change the harmonic direction in a flash. During my year with these amazing works it occurred to me that the secret of performing what are often considered as challenging works lay in the concept that as a vocalist one should aim to sing in as instrumental a fashion as possible and as an instrumentalist, one should aim to do the exact opposite and play as vocally as one can, somehow meeting in the middle to create the final product. To do this means really listening to your colleagues and learning from them constantly. For me, this is one of the biggest lessons and gifts from the whole project. To have the time and space and opportunity to listen and learn from colleagues was invaluable and life-changing. Each of the arias in this cantata stand out like precious gems, and in fact, it's difficult to single one out. All I can say is that you have a huge treat in store when you listen to this recording. Thanks to John Elliott, I was lucky enough to be invited to play in many of these weekly projects, and during the whole of that year ended up being sent rather a lot of music in the post to prepare. Due to the nature of our work as freelance musicians, dashing from one project to the next, after the pilgrimage year was over, rather than remembering to send all of the music back to the EBS library, I stored all of the parts in a box and forgot about them. Until now. I'm somewhat amused and not a little ashamed to still have this copy, oops, which we used in 2000. Sorry. If anyone wants these back after 20 years, do let me know. I can't think of a better way to appreciate Spark's genius than to acquaint oneself with his cantatas. Our recordings of the complete Bar cantatas are for sale in the SDG shop on our website. I do hope that you all enjoy listening to these works as much as I did performing them. 